Welcome back to my channel everyone. So in this uh, episode, I continue uh, my Socotra run. It's, I mean, at this point, it's hardly a Socotra run. It's become a Nestorian Yemeni kingdom, which is, you know, beginning to control the majority of the Middle East now, or a good, I wouldn't say the majority, but a good part of it. And look at Persia, actually, or the Persian realms are completely uh, you know, destroyed because of endless civil wars within the Abbasids. And um, it's just multiple kind of statelets that are independent of each other. And so I'm going to use that opportunity to exploit that. And what I need to do right now, and what I want to do is actually create an empire. So I just want to show you, before any of that, I want to tell you why. Well, because, you know, we have partition, right? as a legal system or as an inheritance system and that means that if I have more than one son uh, it will partition to them so uh, and now I have three kingdoms or two kingdoms rather that are um, you know uh, I have three kingdoms or two kingdoms sorry and if I were to have more than one son uh, then those kingdoms would go to those two sons and then they would or the multiple sons, and then it would split. Uh, so my realms would split. So that's definitely why I need a, an empire, right? So to in in order to get an empire, uh, I need, uh, and I'll show you. I need to usurp it because it's already claimed by uh, this guy who is also the caliph, uh, and he's from the house of Bajlan, or you know, I guess that's what it how you pronounce it, and. It's kind of a cadet clan from that split off from the Abbasid, so he's technically an Abbasid. And the way, the only way to usurp it is actually, well, look, I'll show you. You cannot usurp a title from someone who considers your faith to be hostile or worse while they control any of its de jure lands. Okay, so I'm going to have to kick him out of this Arabian Empire area, right? That's one thing. That's one condition. You only have 77 of 94, so I need to continue expanding. And then you cannot usurp the primary title of someone fighting a war so let's finish him off i think that's what we're going to do he's in multiple wars now i think one of them is with one of my vassals you see here uh, they're trying to capture this uh it's i think it's time for us to you know basically end him right so in the last episode we ended off with me capturing egypt and now it's time for me to build this empire so that i can have you know a strong claim to also all the other provinces that fall within including the byzantine ones because i have a feeling that i'm going to be warring with the byzantines so let's do this then also aesthetically it's more pleasing you know to just no longer look at a uh, you know a map uh, like that right so uh, the, the what, what do you call it the border gore is just terrible at the moment so we can go for these, we can go for this, we can go for Palmyra. I think we'll go for, let's go for, uh, for Palmyra instead, yeah. And they're vastly inferior. So now is the time to basically... It's the time to basically, you know, it's it's the time to take advantage, right? I'm gonna attack these guys just for for the sake of it. I want to see if he gives me some type of piety or prestige. Yeah, it does. Just need to check the volume. Yeah, it's a little bit loud. All right, so blackmail. Greetings, my liege. Okay, sure. They know I'm the killer of, you know, a caliph. I killed a caliph once, I think. I can't even keep up with my schemes at this point. Chancellor. Okay. I don't even know why I'm capturing this. I should be moving into Palmyra. All right, so let's do this. 
we're at 9%. I want to see if they're still at war with my vassals. No, they no longer are. I think they defeated my vassals. I need to be able to usurp this title. Right? Okay. 20%. Time to convert people to our religion. Oh, and Nestorianism is really, really taking off at this point. I do want to change my capital. I did. I chose Mecca because it's a very kind of, uh, um, you know, rich in terms of levy and, and, and taxes. But I'm going to switch it to something even better uh, in terms of that, right? So I'm just, I wonder, like, look, you know, the levies are good. The garrisons are very good. The supplies are good. And it has a really high development, which is very important. And, um, but of course, uh, uh, I'm going to invest in some other city later on, or perhaps even Baghdad if we get that, right? So, okay. Praise the Lord. All right. These guys are fighting on so many fronts at this point. What's happening here? A dangerous faction. We got an independence faction that's kind of brewing. We can take care of them though. Thirty-one months. They're probably the. I wouldn't be surprised if they're the Egyptians that broke away from me, or part part of me that invaded, and they're all the Muslim ones. Yeah, you see, they're the Egyptian. Uh, emirs and stuff like that but that's a good thing because we can use the civil war to you know um, reset right so I, di I didn't want it to be this complicated you know becoming an empire but it has to be done at this point it's very important to become an emperor right now because we need we need that empire the jury cast his belly as well because then we can use this uh you know we can use this kind of uh, uh the jury claims against anyone who's there who's in our empire realms and then we can continue to capture this territory so we're getting there whoops sorry i almost broke that siege all right so if we're at 44 percent maybe i'll i'll siege humps for the time being faction says it needs 32 months I kind of want to go to war with them actually maybe I can revoke I can revoke their title by the way there's interesting thing I, I need to mention here I think I'm gonna oh look at that crusade for Jerusalem Catholic rulers invigorated by call to arm of popes Benedictus have started to gather a large host of zealots to wage a crusade against all enemies of the cross in Jerusalem. More and more fanatics are drawn in every day in what will soon be a mighty army of the cross assembled to bring war upon our lands. It falls upon me to organize my fellow Nestorian rulers in the region and prepare for the incoming tide of infidels before it's too late. That's hilarious. So we're going to be the kind of common enemy here. Let's see what the forces are. I think we're going to get crushed. Uh, we're still a kind of, you know, we're a minority, right? Let's see. I'm going to I'm gonna fight this crusade, uh, of course, you know. So remember when I said in, like, well, the last episode that the common enemy is actually no longer, uh, you know, the, the Muslim caliph, but it's actually, in fact, now the, uh, uh, the, you know, the Christian world, the rest of the Christian world, which considers me to be heretical, so... I find that very interesting, right? We're in a we're in a pretty tough position now. I've never been in such a precarious position until now. Okay, so you see the Catholics are all going to come uh, to this war. So maybe, perhaps, what I can do is, of course, and we got a uh, 
we got a dangerous faction also that's brewing too. And demand him to convert. I won't bargain with him. Maybe I can imprison him. No, I can't. That's what I was hoping to do. So we're definitely going to fight off this crusade. And we might not... Uh, actually, we might have to hold off on the... Uh, um, on becoming an empire for the time being. Because it looks like we're going to be going to many wars here. Let me see. Okay. So there's a possibly an independence war. And then there's definitely going to be a crusade. That's happening. For sure that's going to happen. I'm not sure if we'll be able to fend off against the crusaders. But we'll see. Perfect. I mean maybe we can convert to Catholicism. <laughs> it's kind of a, a cheap way out. Let me check. Hold on. Uh... What if we were to convert to Catholicism? Convert. Hmm. Honestly, it sounds like an idea, but at the same time, no, why not? Let's maybe we should fight these guys and see what if we actually what if we actually won against the crusaders, right? They're really serious though about, they're really adamant about, you know, their crusade. So let's see, ransom for sure. I mean, we have a lot of money to also raise, um, uh, you know, mercenaries. So we could possibly deal a blow to the Catholic world too. Let me see, what if the Byzantines, what if we arranged... a some sort of marriage no uh, different faith okay is marrying down yeah because we're not an empire let's see what's the status of the crusade right now in it launches in one day okay so it started god protect us okay so we're at nineteen thousand. obviously this is what we're gonna do we're gonna raise our levies here in the Holy Land, and then we're gonna wait for these guys to come, and we're gonna pick them up. Uh, we're gonna pick them off one by one. I think that's what we're gonna do, and we also get this Holy Order. They are pledged to join the Crusade for the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Okay, so that's the one I uh, I built, and now they're coming to our help. Of course, maybe I should split these forces here so that we don't face any sort of. Uh, casualties okay so where are they um and then i have enough money to hire mercenaries as well but you know we're congregating i shouldn't chicken out i should actually totally do this you know uh, fight this crusade i mean we went this far to to become you know a dominant force it would be kind of it would suck to kind of cower cower away from from this especially after all the progress we made you know, I mean, the dynasty would still be intact. Okay, so let's attack the let's attack the uh, these uh, papal forces here before they all start. Thing is, if they all start congregating, then you know you're gonna get you're, we're gonna get devastated. So at least if we can get to them before they get here, did we stack wipe them? Yeah, we did. That's perfect. I hope we can stack stack wipe these guys too. Okay, so that's 11% right there. Maybe let's kill them in Balbak here. Okay, this is... Uh, they're probably going to get destroyed, I think. Okay, wow. We're already at 16%. Okay, so let's see what the forces are like. They're still... They have the advantage. But they're not all coming at the same time. That's the good thing. So, um, let's go back to Jerusalem and see. I think, uh, I don't think I can call any allies, no. Wow. 
this is it's an, it's crazy a crusade by fellow christians against me so that's yeah that's i guess because we're considered to be hostile not even just astray right so our relationships are really sour uh let me just take these guys to gaza Part of me wants to go by sea and attack these guys here. Maybe we should do that. Just don't let them kind of congregate, right? That's the thing. Even if you're less than the Crusades forces, look, now they're coming. They're 12,000. You see? They'll start getting, they'll start concentrating in the area and then they'll come as a large force. So, and of course, uh, independence faction is uh, brewing again. So we gotta... I've died. Why? How? Of natural causes. Okay. I'm 59 years old. My daughter takes command. Uh... Okay, the independence faction is gonna be an issue. And then we got a crusade too. To, to contend with. So... I think honestly... I'm going to do something kind of, you know, uh, might be, you know, a little bit suicidal, but let's do this. Let's attack these guys here. See if we can actually, you know, take them out. So, again, that's the beautiful thing about having this much money is that you can, you can hire large contingents of mercenaries so let's do this i think we'll be able to take care of the crusaders now yeah of course yeah this is a this is definitely a, a win for us 26 months hold on perfect so we're i think this crusade is uh Definitely to our advantage. Dread gain. I like this character actually. We have a daughter too? Okay. Perfect. Of course, given that she's the first daughter, we're gonna give her a uh, matrilineal marriage eventually. Let's wait a bit though. I think we I think we're winning this for sure. We're at 64%. Oh, thank God I didn't try to convert or anything. But it's definitely going to get annoying. We're going to have crusaders coming in at you all the time. So, I think we're going to have to strike the Catholic world eventually. All right. So, I think at this point it's fair to say that they're over. The good thing is that I think, I think, I'm not sure, but if you go at war with someone defending against a crusade or a crusading force, the people in who are joining that army will also, like, the people in the, you know, defending against the crusade or the crusades, the crusaders themselves will all join the force. So I think my allies right now in this current war will be able to help me uh, fight against, uh, against uh, the independence faction in, in Egypt. So, and we're not far away. So that's the good thing. Maybe we should station them here, you know, just in case it, it starts. Well, it's a, it's now gone, actually. Okay, the faction is done. Okay, perfect. Oh, but the Crusaders are back. They're relentless, but I don't think they're, I think they're done. We dealt a significant blow to them, even though we're significantly uh, less powerful. So, okay. And look, they're they're facing attrition and whatnot. They're not in their land, so they won't be able to to uh, rejuvenate their forces or uh, not rejuvenate, but uh, sorry, uh, uh, resupply. Okay, so I think this is a stack wipe here. Yeah, it is. Oh, we lost the Yemen. Oh, no. Oh, because now the it partitioned between the sisters, right? So, because we didn't have any brothers. So, okay, all right. I'm going to have to take care of that now. 
Did she she wants an alliance? Absolutely not. No. Uh your claims. Yes, all of it. Absolutely. Time to reunite the uh, you know those territories. There's no way I'm uh, I'm letting that happen actually. Okay, so where is that? I should have been Where's her capital? Mm. Okay. Twenty-seven months, the independence faction will rise against me too. Okay, I'll take care of them though. Let's go capture her capital. This has been a pretty, pretty atrocious uh, start, but it's okay. We'll be able to to deal with this. We have the majority of the kingdom, anyways, that or the lands that we lost. Now that's why it's important to create an empire. So maybe I should disinherit this child so that we don't face that same problem right okay capture their capital they're 17 months away should have disinherited her <sighs> But it's not that big of a deal. It's just this, so we'll we'll take care of that. We we are getting close to her, you know, capturing her whole capital. So thirteen months. Where is she located? She's in the capital. Hopefully, I can capture her. No, I didn't. Okay. These guys are 12 months away. So it's rebellion against again and 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 rebellion and more rebellions. So let's move these guys to Cairo. Pardon me. We Completely destroyed the crusading forces though. That's amazing Why are we losing They occupy Muscat. Okay, that's what it is. Oh, there they are. Okay, sure This is a pretty vicious start To this episode, but I like it though. It's uh, at some Kind of uh, difficulty to it. You know, maybe we can ransom. You know what? How about we execute some people? Yeah. Maybe some people will reconsider, right? So. Okay. Yeah, look at that. They're like, no, never mind. This person's crazy. She'll do the same thing to us. Yeah, I'm gonna hit them in the in in Socotra. Let's see my character. How much dread does she have? She's at 94. I think she definitely terrified people around her. Okay, 15%. Hopefully we can kill that army here. Okay, that to uh, see that faction is out of the way. Okay, spy master, a sign. Sixty-five percent. Great. Let's go liberate Muscat here. So their army is gone, and we're gonna go and continue liberating these towns. Okay.
my goal is the same. All right, so now they have a new ruler. All right. Okay, and he's raising new levies. Hold on, let's actually move these guys here. And they're going to try to get back their capital, so... White piece, absolutely not. We don't do, we're not going to do a white piece with these guys. Maybe catch them in, in the mountains here. And ties. Yeah, that's what's going to happen here. Hopefully, our forces will be up to the, uh, up for this. Yeah, I think we're going to do, we're going to win this for sure. Yes. Okay. I'll definitely extend contracts. I, I think I need to extend. Unfortunately, it's going to be costly, but, you know, we'll make it up. Is I don't want to lose those those uh, mercenaries in the middle of a of, of this important war right now. Okay, I'm gonna go follow them. Thirty seven percent. I wonder if I had killed them, who would have been next in line. It definitely would have. If I had killed her, it wouldn't have been me anyways. Okay, so... They're landing here again. I gained the trait pregnant. Hopefully a son. Is... Is this guy on the battlefield the guy that I'm ru I'm I'm leading? I hope so. Oh boy, do people hate me though. He's on the yeah. He's on the battlefield. Hopefully we can kill a uh, capture him or something. 76% not bad. Let's chase them down. Ashari populace in 33 months. We'll take care of them. I think at this point we can take care of anyone really. We're getting really strong, so... Next time, though, I'm going to be very careful with the... Uh, I completely forgot about that, the... Uh, Two daughters. Really, we re we have really bad genes here, but I'm not getting any sons at all. I have to disinherit, unfortunately. It's costly, but let me see. Hold on, like, am I? You know, I need I need sons. Let me see. Is it? Am I getting a major penalty from being a woman? A male dominated. It's minus ten. It's not the end of the world. I thought it would be more than that, but no. I just think I'm disliked, you know, in general. Uh, I'll, but the good thing is, is that I'm feared, right? So this is the thing I love about this game is that, you know, when you play with dread, even if you're really disliked and despised, if they can kind of fear you in, in some sense, of course it would be nice if they can both fear you and, you know, love you. I sound like Machiavelli. But if you have to choose between two, I think it's always nice to be, you know, dreaded. Like, look at this. I'm absolutely despised. But at the same time, uh, you know, I'm able to... I'm able to avoid major... Um, I'm able to avoid major catastrophes because I went on an execution, spree, uh, you know, run, right? So, 
an ex execution spree. So they look at that and they're like, okay, this person is kind of terrifying. Never mind. And uh, and I avoided a civil war, you know, because of that. And now I'm gonna get the Yemen back. So again, I have claims on it. You get a hundred casualties here, but it's better than, you know, nothing. I mean, it's better. It's better to get that than let these guys kind of roam around. We can probably get the hundred percent war score after this battle, and then we we've reunited our territories. Wow. No, not even. Hopefully, this is a hundred percent. Yeah, that's it. We got it. Okay, so we took back what's ours, and I think at this point, I think at this point it's time to see if I can actually, you know, do some kind of sort of alliance here. I highly doubt it. No. What if I spent my time swaying this guy? I want to convince him that, hey, listen, it'd be nice if we could do something, you know, uh, marry our, uh, you know, create an alliance of some sorts. Duchy of Aleppo. Are these guys, okay, those guys are Greeks, though. Okay, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're pretty numerous. Okay, so now our troops are, are coming back. Okay, good. What's going on here? I'm definitely, I don't think I'm, I'm going to go to any kind of, I'm going to be able to build that empire anytime soon. But what I can do is, you know, continue to kind of push these guys out. So, I'm quite the expansionist, but I think it's just, uh, I don't want to let go of these things right now, you know, I, I, I'm getting close to an empire, right? So, you can call on your ally, sure, I mean, sure, I got prisoners I can ransom. I'm going to keep these guys, because I'm probably going to execute a lot of them. Titles that can be created. I'll create those later because it's nice to give them to vassals. I'm going to I'm going to fix the vassal situation because I'm going to give people, you know, titles and stuff like that. That's going to create less animosity and less enmity. Oh, their capital is right here, so it's not far away. Sure, you can blackmail me. During the Crusades, I did hire mercenaries, but honestly, I think I could have fared without them. I'm kind of happy we won that Crusade because, uh, well, I'm really happy, actually, because it shows me that, you know, there's no reason for me to kind of abandon this faith uh, and that I should stick to what we have, right? I was a little bit intimidated because, you know, sometimes they can come in full force, but I think it's because they have to cross the sea, all of them at once, and they're not able to coordinate because they're coming from different parts of Europe. It's at 40%. Okay, so these guys are are basically done for. Uh, hard rule, all right. I'm gonna capture their capital. The mercenaries are gonna disappear very soon. I can hire the I can hire the Holy Order actually. I can use these guys actually, but where are they? Where did we set the uh, rally point? Can't remember. What? Where is the rally point? Anyways, other oh, right here, yeah. 
So that's the holy order. Is he being swayed, the Byzantine Emperor? What if I sent him a kind of gift? Let's just try it out. An alliance with him would be nice. No. Still no. We're at 91%. Okay, that's great. He still hasn't changed his mind. Why are, why are levies so low suddenly? Oh, because they're dying in the desert here, that's why. Okay, perfect. So, we're inching closer to the empire title. We're inching closer. Okay, alright, so... Um, who is he fighting against? This is all the territory he has left. So he's fighting against somebody here. If there's a tyranny that's going on. Alright, okay, and now our vassals are coming back, or sorry, our levies are coming back. Uh, I'm going to create the Duchy of Me Mecca for myself because I have the jury land there. The Ashadi populists are rising too. Ransom. No, that's not enough. What's my dread situation looking like? Oh my god, my daughter died. Let's uh, restore her inheritance. Okay. Maybe to the Duke of Aleppo. Perfect. Sure. How about let's check the prisoner list. Wow, we still have a lot. Can we kill this guy? It would cost us piety because he's from our own religion. Aldrich, I'm going to kill this guy. 81 dread. Okay, cool. Keep the dread building up. Let's see. Empire titles. Honestly, there's not much we need to take from them. 33%. Okay, now we got... Our daughter has pneumonia. I'm 28. So I can still have children. Let me see. Liber now it's the Liberty Faction. Oh boy, do I really... How badly do I want to just arrest this guy? In prison? No, I can't. Maybe I can try to kill him. No, nope. we're going to keep... We're going to keep the prisoners and we're going to... We're going to start executing more. But we're at 93% dread. Part of me wants to get dreadful. This is really good because dread gain 30%. Uh, dread gain for tyranny. Dread decay forever infamous. I'll probably do go down that line later. But okay, this is good for mercenaries. She's probably the most uh, iron fist ruler I've had so far in this whole campaign. It'll be my pleasure. 
I think at this point it's time to kind of, you know, just focus on the realm a little bit more because it is getting a little bit unstable. Let's see who we can convert here. So people, you know, our religion is becoming the dominant one here. Um, all right. Fortunate. Okay, so she survived the pneumonia. Decline. Okay, he's starting to like me a little bit more. Now, if we wanted to do an alliance power. Uh, still, the different phase. Okay, he's marrying down. That's the thing. If only we would be an empire. If only we can be an empire. That's all. That's all I need right now. I mean, we can go down this. We can also found a new empire, but we're missing. I don't fulfill all the requirements. I'm not exalted among men, and I need more piety. I can pull this off, by the way. Maybe I might just create another empire for myself, but then that means that... Do I have de jure claims here? Yes, yeah, seize de jure countries. Seize, because I have the kingdoms anyways. So do I really need that Arabian empire? Do I need to wait for this guy to be usurped? Maybe not. Let me check. Hold on, maybe if I can go on a pilgrimage, I can create my own empire instead. Just to stay secure, and then we can keep an alliance with the Byzantines, right? So, for the time being, though, I'm probably going to war with them too. I've gained a loyalty on a hook on this dead guy. Okay. I've walked the holy path. Now I am... You know, I have the piety necessary. It is good to be home. Why am I losing so much piety? I'm a pilgrim. Okay, I have no idea. But, uh... Oh, she's actually a really good ruler. You know, uh, especially for her age. You are now known for your faith. Okay, cool. Um, no. Keep these people in the dungeons. I think I, I, I killed the... the uh, daughter of the daughter of uh, that uh, that emperor okay so the thing is the good thing is is that my I think my vassals are actually warring with the uh, with the abbas uh, the, the, the Bajlands and we need three more years to go to war for ourselves I might actually just attack their remainder the remainder of their territory okay so I'm pregnant now let's see what I can get hopefully it's a boy Okay. No, decline. We're going to keep the prisoners. Sit religious situation is looking good. Okay. So my first daughter is getting all of all of this stuff so she's gonna get Egypt too that's why it's important to use uh, you know uh, disinherit when you're playing as uh, when you're playing as a, uh, um, a con confederate partition because otherwise your 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 realms will fall apart and again like I said I don't have a uh, 
I don't have an empire yet, so Mahdi, finally a son. Very important. You know, very timely too. I'll wait. He's okay, so he's now my heir. Okay. That's great. So let's educate this son because and let's prop him up. Educate the child. I'll find someone with, you know, a good sum of skills. Maybe uh, myself. Greedy, arbitrary, sadistic. Maybe a zealous person. Flexible leader. Tough soldier. Lustful. Shy and zealous. I mean, let's really hope he doesn't become shy, though. Because anything can make him break. I'm going to risk it. Let's hope that's not one of the traits he learns, right? So, all right. Let's see what the religious situation is like here. Okay. So my sister still hates me for stripping her of her land. Or of her kingdom. Now we're above the territory, the amount of counties we can have. Let me check here. In Medina. I'm obviously going to change my capital soon, but Muscat, maybe I can give that away. I know we've invested in Muscat a lot, actually. Jerusalem, I'm definitely not giving away. Part of me thinks of changing the capital to Jerusalem for the time being. Actually, Mecca is good too. So is Jerusalem. I think Muscat I'm going to give away. Okay. I'm going to give away Muscat. And I'm going to probably switch my capital to Jerusalem. Or should I keep it? Or maybe I should keep it in Mecca for the time being. Let's see. The thing is about Mecca is that there's just one, two, three, four, four holdings there. And here we're at one, two, three, four. Yeah. But there's a potential for a fifth. Yeah. The development is higher in Mecca than it is in Jerusalem. No, in fact, no, it's higher in Jerusalem. Oh, that's a tough one. But I think maybe I should make it Jerusalem. I'll make it Jerusalem for sure. Okay, so that's our new capital now. We're in. The, we're on the. You know, we're closer to the Medi Mediterranean. We're a little bit more. Okay, and it's also religiously symbolic, I guess. That's our new capital now. So Liberty Faction, that's, uh, again, that's brewing. So bring up the dread and remind people who we are. Okay, and then we're going to go again. We're going to go into another war with these guys. Part of me thinks of giving, I mean, we don't have that many emirs, we don't have that many duchies, right? So, maybe if I can create some duchies and hand them out to my vassals, and then give them, you know, more vassals that will be a little bit more organized, but at the same time, I kind of want to keep that for later because I'm not in a major catastrophe. I want to keep it for later to kind of please people out of factions, but right now it's not. The people who are in the factions are people who can't be pleased anyways. They, I mean, maybe this guy, to a certain extent, can send them some money or something, but it would be my pleasure. Okay, so let's increase the speed because nothing is really going on right now. Okay, so 
So look, we're going to get this territory. Now we've... We're getting there. Or we can become exalted among men. Hold a feast. Call hunt. Okay, we didn't get much done and let's maybe hold a feast, I guess. There was a possibility I'd die in that hunt, so I didn't want to risk it. Till next time. Alright. So we're getting closer to exalted among men. And our levies are increasing, so It's going to be a long way till we actually create an empire. So I think maybe if I can just do it through that decision, it would be probably better. Just found an empire here, right? Found a new empire. It's not the end of the world. Except the thing is, is that the other stuff is, uh, the other, uh, you know, portions of that empire, which are part of the, the jury, Arabian Empire are no longer going to be part of it, but you can always just integrate it through, uh, through I will show you, uh, this integrate title. Uh, you integrate it into the title of, um, of your empire, so it's fine. The target title becomes the jury part of your primary title. So you see, if I do this to this, for example, this will now become part of, uh, of the uh, Arabian Kingdom as opposed to uh, being part of uh, the kingdom of Egypt. So you can always switch it around. It's not the end of the world. But uh, I'm not sure. And I mean, I can always use holy wars to, to keep in, in expanding. So I don't mind doing it again, you know, doing just founding an empire like that because I'd rather have that right now. I'd rather have an empire than just kind of wait and keep fighting these guys and this way I can also organize a marriage with uh, with the Byzantines right if I'm at their rank they'll be willing to they'll be willing to uh, to stay with me right so or to marry with me and then we can form an alliance and then I don't have to worry about other people trying to attack me Uh, look at that. Let's let's do something about our men at arms here. Honestly, I'm gonna destroy this one, and I'm gonna do camel riders. Good for the terrain that we're in. Um, increase our onagers. I have a pretty powerful army. Right, and that's going to increase our levy sizes, so... Okay. We're getting close to creating an empire, though. I look forward to this. Because the rest is just going to be tedious if we keep waiting. But then again, what's part of the Arabian Empire? I'll show you. It's just this much, too, so... The rest of the stuff we're going to be integrating, it's not going to be like the end of the world. You know, we'll just integrate it eventually. I'll create my own empire and, you know, I'll give it a name or something. How's my dread? Okay. And then eventually I'm going to fix the vassal situation, but I won't do it over recording because it's kind of tedious and, and, uh, and a little bit boring. But I'll show you the results when I come back. 
Because, you know, right now I have 43 vassals. It's better to have a fewer number of, of vassals and then whom you can actually satisfy. So, to the impressive Manika, I'm shot. Okay. Sure. Okay, so he won that. All right. Oh, no way, my son died under mysterious circumstances. Uh, it's going to be another female ruler. It's okay, though. And she died under mysterious circumstances, too. So I want to know who keeps killing our kids. Hooks and secrets. We don't know. He has some fascinating ideas on diplomacy, sure. To my liege, if you are a dedicated servant to the Lord, I therefore hope therefore hope you will look in sympathy on the fact that our duty to you, your, you weighs down our ability to do God's work. Perhaps some of our heavier obligations may be waived. Okay. be my pleasure again can we do an alliance power here okay so we lost that opportunity now So they're being attacked here. Maybe we'll go. Vastly inferior. You know what? Let's just wait a little bit. Actually. No, I'll go. I'll go for the war. I'll take, I'll take these provinces before the Byzantines attack. Okay, they're vastly inferior. I'd rather take those provinces before the Byzantines take them too. Okay, who's their commander? Put this guy in charge. Slow things down a little bit. Or pause things, I mean. Alright. Basically build up some prestige. want to usurp that title of the empire that's all maybe I'll attack here okay perfect so no that's not part of the war score territory that we're going for Okay, overseer I think now I'm gonna play intrigue How old is she? She's 39, so she can still bear children. Hopefully another another son or something. Building up the prestige. Okay, there they are. These, the, I can attack these guys in this in Sakhna here. Oh, okay, never mind. They're only sixty-eight. <laughs> they're really their their armies are nothing in, at this point. Okay, so what's going on here? Who are they at war with? I 
And I can't believe he still gets to call himself Emperor. It's ridiculous. He still gets to call himself Emperor. Can you believe that? Okay, so we won. Enforce demands. So be it. And we can... Okay, so... See, we're above the vassal limit. Enforce demands. We can transfer... Sure, let's do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create some titles. I'll show you. Okay, so look at this. Where are they? Titles can be created. Echi of Diarmodar. Okay, for example. Where is that? Here. Okay. So who's here that we can give this to? I'll give it to this guy. Grant title. I'm rid of Diarmodar. Okay, you can take that. That's for you. Okay, and then that's one thing, for example. Now, the decision to found a new empire is available for us. I think that's the th yeah. That's uh, that's what I was thinking of doing. Uh, the thing is, though, how far away are we from? Usurping it from this guy. How far away are we from usurping it from this guy? We can't. Uh, we're 87 to 94. It's gonna. You know what? It's available to us now. Let's just do it. You become exalted among men. Every kingdom title you hold or completely control becomes the jury kingdoms of your new empire. Okay. I have done what no one else could. I have united the lands of Arabia with those of Egypt and Yemen. All my vassals and priests have finally gathered before my throne. I have earned this moment in their eyes and more importantly in the eyes of God. As Patriarch Ahmad, Ahmad places the crown upon my head, I declare my new empire. It is what my servant vassals are here to witness, and as the declaration leaves my slip, all the power of my realm, spiritual as well as temporal, kneels before me. So we're an empire now. And that's, uh, that's a major progress. Right? So, your, your glory is widely known. Our levies amounts are, are, are massive. And what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to organize the realm, and everything I add... Because look, now Empire Titles. See how it works now? So, Syria is not technically part of it, as it was part of the Arabian Empire. But I will... Okay, so the Arabian Empire uh, for, uh, Kingdom still remains part of the Arabian Empire, or that empire that I created. But this, this belongs to Bajlan. What I'm going to do is, obviously, I can still integrate these things into... My territory. I'll show you how. No, I can't. There are no valid targets. Never mind. Whatever. I will still, uh, you know, maybe if I can create the kingdom of Syria, that'll be different, and then I can incorporate Syria into this new empire. Now, the Arabian Empire actually had Yemen, had uh, Arabia and Egypt and Syria and Jerusalem as part of the thing, but we don't get that luxury. But it's okay. Um, we only get, you know, Yemen, Egypt, and uh, Arabia. That's because we don't have a kingdom in Jerusalem. And uh, we needed one more, uh, you know, county. And that, that's uh, county. To get that county, we, uh, we could go to war with these guys, for example. And then we would have incorporated it later on. But it's okay. At least the good thing is is that we have, you know, three kingdoms under this empire. Maybe not the five, but three. 
but we can always incorporate them later on so it's not the end of the world and in fact as long as you have that kingdom just you and and, I'm, and it's not like I would be giving kingdom titles to anyone below me I'm gonna keep even the kingdom titles to myself so perfect so you won't be getting a, a penalty by another king for not being for them not being uh, their your your uh, the jury vassal right so because I'm never gonna make anyone else but myself king or queen so a ransom sure I think at this point okay they grew up so fast at this rate though. We got the empire that we needed, and I think the Byzantines can now take us a little bit more seriously. But the thing is, they don't... Do they have a son? No. You have too many existing alliances. Okay. It's fine. The thing is, we're now the same rank as an empire, other empires, so uh, that's perfect. That's really perfect, and uh, I'm going to continue to expand. And then I think in the next videos, I'm... The next time I come with another video, if I continue playing this, I'm probably going to have consolidated this area here and, you know, taken all this land and incorporated it. And then I think the next targets are probably going to be the Byzantines. I kind of want Constantinople now. Uh, bring, Christ you know, Nestorianism there. So I want to thank everyone for watching this. Thank you for, uh, you know, your feedback and for, uh, for you know, just kind of uh, uh, staying patient when the uh, episodes get a little bit tedious especially at the end but you know it's uh, it's been super worthwhile I've loved I've loved recording this is actually one of my favorite episodes or favorite runs so I'll be back with uh, uh, more content and uh, please don't forget to subscribe when you get the chance